Another common feature, which I, I perceive is a result of uh, people trying to protect and secure themselves also, is we have now estates. Well, that's been a long feature, estates having gates, but what's more uh, prominent these days is even streets, not, even, not necessarily estates, but even streets. Every street these days has a gate. Uh, so we, we, you get to one street, there's a gate. A street of that street has a gate. A street of that street of that street has a gate as well. And the question is, um, whilst the intention may be to safeguard and ensure the security of people who live in those areas or in those communities, do these gates pose any dangers or any threats uh, to the persons within those places where this, all of these gates are being erected? Uh, these and other related matters we're discussing in this hour. Uh, my guest who has joined me in the studio for the conversation uh, is uh, the uh, deputy, uh, pardon me, no, nope, the... Um, uh, Director of Operations, uh, River State Neighborhood Safety Corps, uh, Matthew Ihai. Uh, hello, sir. Good evening to you. Welcome to Hard Facts. Now, I know I gave some kind of a, a preview or some kind of a background to this, but w was I correct? Is that the reason these gates are springing up? Because I also perceive that um, pe people like to describe where they live as an estate. Oh, I, I live in that estate, even though it may not be an actual estate. People try to create and carve out pseudo pseudo estates, yes. and one way to give an impression of an estate is if there is a gate. Because yes. how can you claim to live in an estate that does not have a gate? That means your estate is a low level, it's a low level estate. estate yeah. But but in your experience, and speaking from a security perspective, what would you ascribe as the main reason? All of these gates are springing up everywhere. Well, you can't really actually blend them because one, as you can see, in terms of security. Uh, a lot of things is happening now for the safety of life and every other thing. That's why you see most of all these gates are being becoming so common everywhere. But on the other side of it, we are not actually getting it right because um, the way. Are, are you saying now the gate should not be there? No, the gate is not okay. Just like what you were mentioning about street, well, there is what they call closed an exit, which you know that this particular road is is linking nowhere. It just a close by. If the people within the axis can come together for the safety of themselves, to know who is who, you know, that is living around them and every other thing, to to secure themselves, you know, having a a, 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 a private security to secure themselves, it's, it's, it's quite clear it's, there's nothing wrong about it. Because one, it's something that they have all agreed and it's a close. But not when in a street, when you know that this road is linking to this other street, from this street to this other, and at the end of you, you see gate everywhere. It's not, it's not right. We're not getting it right. So are you saying that we shouldn't have gates? We shouldn't protect ourselves? We shouldn't make our own efforts? No. If you want to have gates, there's nothing wrong in having gates. And I, as I said, the only way you can get this thing right is that a street where people, you know that this road linked to this, this road linked to this other axis. If you want to have a gate, no one stops you. But sometimes there are some gates, you, there are some places you are sex, and you find out that nobody is there to attend to you. They lock up the place and you see them, nobody... So even when you have some distress code that you want to assess that same gate to see how you can reach the, the, the victim you know, or the person that is uh, uh, having a problem, there is no way you can do it. Because one, nobody is there to attend. You see them put the gate, use padlock with chair and then lock up the place. Nobody is there. And it's bad. If you want to have such a thing, it's a, it's a registered company or a private registered company, you have to guide them on how to follow. And they're not supposed to be up to two. Sometimes in those streets, it's only people that are guiding the whole estate. How, how, how does it work? Well, like you said, if it's an estate, what that means is that it's, it's just usually maybe one entry in or one entry out, or maybe two entries. But what you're describing right now is not an estate or a close. It, you're describing just regular street, streets. Re regular street, but they turn it to be estate. Mm. Because one, when, by the time they put the, the gate... They market the other gate. They, you see, it called, they call it estate. Is what we are saying now. And when you try to, when you, when you, uh, this is several times I've had issue with them. When I stop, I say, look, what people are doing is not right. I mean, no fear that is on this beat. They say it's only me. I say, where is on the other beat? They say it's only one person that is. There. How can the two of you, at this big street, that people call an estate, take the security in this or secure everybody that is here? Okay, as you are in this beat now, do you know what is happening inside? He said no. I said, how? And even sometimes they are going now, okay, let's say they want to go on patrol and they will lock up the gate as no one can have access. Mm. Now, what happened? There's no phone number to communicate. There's nobody you can reach 
to call to ask what is actually going on. So you say what you're saying is when you get to this gate, sometimes there's nobody man. Nobody the gates, man. Nobody. And the gates are locked. Nobody. If you go around Portaco today, you see there are some there are some street that is permanently locked. People take clothes in, they will lock it, nobody assess it. When you ask them what was the problem, they say because uh, they don't want people to be passing here. But you know that this same road you are locking, you're taking laws into your hand by locking it, is another access that someone can steal. Okay, what if something happened on this other major road? And people are all living within this. How can they assess? But doesn't the government have a responsibility to, to check? Because I mean, if you have seen this this gate, I, I've seen several sort of gates in my neighborhood. And other people, government should have taken note of these gates and, and uh, do ensure the proper things are done. Uh, there is nothing, there is no check. There, nobody is even doing it. Not even the police, nobody is doing it. And this whole thing is, is becoming, because one by the time you see this street has put their own gate and nobody correct, maybe try to tell them what you are doing is you see other people they have to another street will also come up and put their own gate mm. and you see gate everywhere sometimes you're coming back in the night you cannot have access to your house and when these boys are sleeping or they are somewhere else maybe drinking or maybe you want to know the other there is nothing you can do you can't accept because there is nobody you can call who will you reach there is no phone number in those gates you can reach no number you can't call anybody who are you? Even most of this street you are talking about, all the security, in the normal sense, the local government are supposed to have data about all these people. And the division within the ASIS are supposed to also have a registered of this, where if there is any disorder, they know how to reach these people. But most times when you go down, you can't get all this information from them. So, so once again, back to the question I asked you earlier on, should the gates be removed? Or if the gates are to be there, so that's the first question. Should the yeah. gates be removed, or is there a standard? Is there a procedure, a proper procedure to erecting gates, or a proper security system or format to erecting gates? And how should those gates be be be, be managed or, or or manned? Well, it, there's nothing wrong in, in in putting those gates or or putting security within the vicinity. But let the right thing should be done. If you're putting security in within your address where you're living, I you know that this road link to so you have to have what they call 24 hours personnel in that or the security people there that they must be there 24 hours. If someone is accessing that road, it's your only just to check, look at the vehicle. You can ask the person, please, sir, we're doing it because for the safety of people living around there politely because one is not your right. Is their own fundamental human right for them to have that because it's a federal government road or a state road? They have every right to assess it anytime because it's their taxpayer money. What you need to do is just for you to just to beg them, please, can I see your boot? We are doing it because of this. Which area are you going to? The person can say, I'm going to social street. You open the gate for them. Not harassing them. Not to say maybe since you are not living in this particular zone, you cannot have access to 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 to, to make use of the road. Most of it happens. People complain a lot, okay, just like what's going on now in um, the construction that is going on in uh, within the NTA as is, mm. the flyover. Do you know there are some streets, there are roads you can access easily without all this traffic jam, but you can't access it. The place is blocked with gate. You can't access it. <laughs>